Once you've gotten into Google Patents, you'll quickly realize that one of the biggest jobs that you have is to review search results. Google Patents presents a lot of different ways that you can look at results, probably at least a half dozen. And how you choose to review results is going to have a major impact on how effective you are in reaching your ultimate goal, which is to find the prior art reference that matches your invention. So what I want to do is show you a couple of different ways that you can review results and try to explain how the different ways that you review results can impact your effectiveness. Once you're in Google Patents, you're going to see that there are a whole lot of results. Here it says there's about 2,700 results. So you can spend a significant amount of time looking for results. When you're doing that, probably something that you don't want is to have this search sidebar there. So what I want you to do is go ahead and click the X and get rid of that because that's useless information. When you are reviewing results, probably the most relevant thing that will be at the very top of each individual result is the title for that particular patent application, patent, or document. Um, so scan the title and um, scan this little snippet which is taken out of the patent document and it's going to have the key terms that you put in the search. And that's how you're going to figure out which of these references are the ones that are closest. And once, once you find something that looks like it's close, you're going to want to click in. And this is the second view that you're going to get is once you click on a title. Once you're in the actual document, or this is the Google Patents document view, you're going to want to scroll down and see where the keywords show up. So you may look at a particular snippet of text and uh, read that and say that's particularly relevant or not relevant. If it's really relevant, it's the most relevant thing you've seen, go up here and write down the document number right here. Um, that's going to be your best reference. That'll allow you to get back to it really easily. But there are other ways to view the documents. One of the things you can do is go ahead and click on one of the images. And that's going to open up a separate image view. This is a way that you can actually go ahead and review the list of patents if you want to. And you can scroll through individual images in the same patent. Or you can go from patent to patent or document to document as the case may be using these arrows at the top. A lot of times you'll get uh, documents that don't have any images so you just keep on scrolling. Um, one of the disadvantages of this is that it doesn't really display the snippet which can be pretty useful if you're just trying to get a very quick overview. Going through uh, large format images tends to be one of the slower ways to go about searching. All right, so if you go back to the results, uh, this is the main results view. One of the things you can do that is a little bit faster is to go hover over uh, one of the images in the thumbnail version and click on that. And instead of just a list of snippets and titles, you'll get snippets, titles, and all of the various drawings that are in the individual documents. So it's going to slow you down a little bit, but that's a nice addition of information. And that may be the best way to find the results you're looking for, particularly if the context of the text snippet is valuable, but the drawings are going to add significant additional value. So that, that's a very nice way to go about looking through your results. Now we're back at the standard results view with the snippets and you'll notice if you go up to the top right hand side or very near the top right hand side, there's a little section you can click that says side by side. If you do click that, um, you're going to get uh, individual results. So um, if you click any individual result, you're going to get the document information that is just the same as if you clicked into it without being side by side, the information in the right hand panel will be all of the information that would have been available had you clicked on the title if you were on the regular search page and not in side by side. 
Um, it will be arranged differently because just to fit on the screen. So some of the information that would have been on the right hand side may you may have to scroll all the way to the bottom to see that, but it's all there. Okay, once you're in that, um, you can look at this two different ways. So you can go and scroll out oh, also. If you click the side by side button and you see this is blank, all you got to do is click on one of the inventions or um, documents and then that screen will fill up and populate with the relevant information for the document that you click on. You can go and click as many different ones as you want. And um, as you go, if what you're interested in for an individual document is the drawings, then what you want to do is click on the drawing and it'll bring you to a different view. So you can change different documents and then the way to toggle back and forth is just to click the X up here and then if you want to go back toggle back to an individual drawing click the drawing right there. So that is a pretty easy way to uh, search through the results and then you just keep on going and uh, like I said, the goal is to get to the single piece of prior art or the reference, the document that is the closest match to your invention. Starting again at the main review page for individual results, um, sometimes uh, this is not often the case, but sometimes the only information that is truly important is what is in the drawings or you so much so that you're willing to rely on the drawings to the exclusion of other information. If that's the case, what you want to do is click on the individual title, which will take you to the individual document summary page. Go down and click on the individual image for the drawing. And then you're going to want to click this little uh, open rectangle here and it'll bring you into a full screen. And at that point, you can go document by document, or you can go and look at individual drawings. And um, that is not a very fast way to go through the documents, but if what you're really interested in is the drawings, and that's where you expect to find the reference that's closest to your invention, then that's the best way that you're going to be able to find that information. I hope you found that information helpful. If you'd like some more information about the patent application process and patent searching, please subscribe to this channel.